Capricorn, hope you're well. My name is Vince. Welcome to Seven D Tarot. Today, I'm going to pull your money and career energy, your romantic energy, see who is coming and going, and if there's any travel on the horizon. Now, if this message resonates, like, share, and subscribe. And for more clarity on your situation, check out your sun, moon, and rising signs. If you would like to schedule your own personal reading with me, all the info you need is in the description box below. And for a fresh perspective, check out my wife's channel over at Empath Tarot. Her info is in the description box as well. And Capricorn, make sure you stay tuned till the end of your reading where I will pull a final message from your spirit guides tying everything together. All right, so let's dive right in. First card, the strength card. Look at that. The inner lion within you. This is a reminder to remember who you are. Not learn, not to figure out, none of that. Remember. Why? You are a soul. You came from the fifth dimension to the third dimension. You wiped your memory clean when you came here. Why would you possibly do that? Because you're here in the third dimension to experience stuff. That's the entire reason you're here on planet Earth, right? Why is that? As a soul, you have an idea of concept. For example, if I told you mustard is bitter, you're gonna be like, okay, but unless you try it, you don't know what it's like. You can only experience in a body, in a third dimension. So you literally wipe your memory clean, so all your experiences are new, and then you come here. Then there's polarity, hot, cold, you know, joy, pain, and you know, sweet and sour. And that's what's going on here. Remember who you are. Remember your spiritual being. Remember you are soul. Remember how to love, how to start a business, how to, you know, what to do. Remember, not try to figure out. Like, for example, if I told you that, listen, you are French, you have amnesia, you know how to speak French, and you just need to remember the strategy is going to be different than you need to learn how to speak French. You're like, how would I do that? It's so much harder. But if I'm like, remember, what are you going to do? You're going to be like, remember, huh? You're going to look within look within and that looking within that is what's going to free up everything for you now everything is effortless now money is begging to enter your life because it's an energy money's like a person it wants to date the person who uh, really you know makes the most happy energy people opportunities everyone wants to be around someone who is confident you just gotta know how to play this game and the answers are coming now seven of pentacles page of pentacles nine of pentacles six of pentacles pentacle 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 what is that wealth wealth creation right now i see that the energy of your money energy is blossoming it is growing as far as paying off your bills that line of credit that mortgage that interest rate all that stuff it is going to figure itself out very very soon the energy that i'm picking up is a new vibration entering your life you have this very attractive magnetic energy around you so that means a lot of new opportunities remember money wants to be around the person that treats it the best right you got to treat money as a person when someone when you want someone to date you you're not going up to them like please i need you ah, right they would run they'd freak out right ah, right no one wants that needy energy right but if you are cool calm and collective and you're just doing you that person across that restaurant's gonna be like who is that and they're gonna want you to go talk to them. Same thing here. With money, you can't be needy. Like, of course we need money. We got bills to pay. I get that. Money buys you freedom, but you can't be desperate, okay? So you gotta treat money as a person. You gotta let money know, hey money, how you doing? All right, so listen, I'm gonna treat you very, very well here. And what's gonna happen is I'm gonna start a business and we're gonna be so happy. We're gonna do what we love or I'm gonna go to work and I'm gonna just be cool, calm and collective. And you know, opportunities are gonna come. And when I have this money in my hand, I'm gonna start tipping and feeling good and feeling fresh. And you gotta let money come to you. And this may sound crazy, but this is how you play the game. This is how it works, right? Like attracts like law of attraction. Think about it. The efforting and forcing and wanting, where has that led people today? Right? Why is it everyone's not rich? Exactly, right? But being cool, calm, and collective, where does that get you in romance? Exactly where it gets you with money. Now, you got the Page of Cups and the Queen of Cups. So I see here that there is going to be an offer made to you in your romantic energy very short, in the short term. I see a beautiful offer that really ignites your passion, ignites your senses. Even if you're currently in a relationship, maybe this is a blessing in the form of a pregnancy, engagement, or marriage proposal. But I see that your romantic energy, that there's a new, again, you're so magnetic right now that everyone wants to be around you. Whatever it is you're doing, double down on triple down, right? Whatever it is that's keeping you magnetic right now, if you started going to the gym, you feel good, do more of it. If you have, you know, started meditation, which is the quickest way to feel confident and sexy, do more of it, right? Whatever it is you're doing, you diet, 
continue doing so because you're, you're, you're on the right path here. Now you got the eight of cups and the four of cups and I do see here that there's a limiting belief that has to get audited or relationship that has to get audited because it is siphoning energy away from the present moment and that present moment is what we need right now for change to happen in your life. When you are going to create this new energy of money to manifest in your life, that happens right here in the now. This is an opportunity. Someone's going to be like, hey, I would like to mentor you, guide you, invest in you, team up with you, collaborate with you, network with you. Do you see where I'm going with this? It happens right here in the now but if your energy is in the past something happened someone's hurting me something's bothering me i had this i lost this your energy in the now is gone therefore it will not get presented to you but when you cut that energy at the core of the past energy is not finite and it gets moved now you're able to use that energy and new opportunities come law of attraction and right now spirit is telling you to start listening to your intuition because your intuition is telling you to audit some sort of belief or relationship that is causing an energetic blockage and energy is like imagine this imagine you are here at home imagine spirit is here and you have this gate in between you spirit wants to come say hi and give you everything you need but every time it comes it hits this gate what do you have to do open the gate for spirit to come now spirit can't open this gate for you you have to open this gate in order to open this gate you have to feel cool calm collective happy now spirit can come give you all the gifts you're looking for but this gate usually never gets opened by people right a lot of resistance fear anxiety so right now you got to understand because of free will spirit's not going to open that gate for you this is a collective energy but you have to live your own life you are the one who has to open that gate hence meditation so that gate remember is closed whenever there's scarcity lack who what when where how how is this going to happen i want to control it i don't know all that radical rational practical analytical third dimensional energy and particle all that energy is the reason comparison you know judgment that's the reason that gates there but the moment that you start taking action the moment that you start instilling your will greater than the programming the programming is fear and instead you replace it with love 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 is not romance love is happiness peace and joy which leads to romance then the gate opens so for example love yourself positive affirmations money comes to me so easily i am a love magnet love yourself it's okay to be wrong it's called polarity you know what you don't want and what you do want it's contrast these things are okay you did nothing wrong love yourself first and foremost watch how you speak to yourself when you say something to yourself you're casting a spell be very very careful that that spell is productive right affirmations all day when you're washing the dishes i am confident i am a love magnet whatever when you're driving i am so you know sexy anything right but do not at all under any circumstances try right of course we do this from time to time but try your best not to think anything negative or feel anything negative and when you do catch yourself be aware uh oh law of attraction this isn't helping and stop now look at your animal spirit one of my favorite elephant spirit learn from the past <laughs> what are we talking about right here this is your guys right now giving you that synchronicity listen you are here to learn stuff you're on planet earth to experience stuff some of it's joyful some of it's painful it's all good learn from the past then move on don't get stuck in the past you're not a mind reader you're not meant to beat yourself up or shoulda woulda coulda no you're supposed to learn from the past that's it and move on now i'm going to pull your uh final message from your spirit guides and right now they say culmination of vision culmination of vision which is a beautiful card number 35 and the message is time to take positive action toward your goals and dreams be adaptable and fine-tune any of the details of what you are creating reflect on your desires and make sure your attitude and beliefs are in alignment with what you wish to accomplish so you, you know the majority of times people are like i visualized it it didn't happen or i journaled it it didn't happen why is that it's because your expectations need to match your emotions you have to have brain and heart coherence for example you can't visualize yourself rich but then your body your heart says this is stupid we're never gonna be rich <clears throat> doesn't work but when you're like oh here's me like that dream job right and then you're like ah i feel so good to have it ding 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 we have a winner and capricorn that is exactly how you get to what you're looking for so right now brain and heart coherence learn to start loving learn to start get, giving your body a taste of that future right forget the practical analytical realistic that is come 
completely a waste of time. Start feeling, learn to feel. You can do it, method acting. Start feeling and then the universe will gladly will give to you your desires. All right, Cap, I hope you enjoyed your reading. Hope there was a message in here for you. If there was, like, share, and subscribe. Thank you, thank you. Till next time, honor your soul.